a spiritual home to Germans, Wartburg Castle. This is a forest in the Thuringen region of central Germany. A castle stands on a small promontory in this forest. This is Wartburg Castle, which is inscribed as a World Heritage Site. The site is seen as a spiritual landmark for the German people. Singing contests were held here, in the Singer's Hall. The tradition began at the beginning of the 13th century, when the rule of the castle Hermann I gathered minstrels known as Minnensänger to compete in singing competitions. It was in fact a very fierce contest where singers risked their lives. This is the setting where life or death singing matches were held. Wagner wrote an opera titled Tannhauser, based on this singing contest. The German literary giant Goethe visited Wartburg Castle for the first time in 1777. When Goethe became a minister of the Duchy of Saxony Weimar Eisenach, he started restoring the castle. Thanks to Goethe's efforts, we can still admire the castle, which remains in excellent condition to this day. Here is the Hall of St. Elizabeth. Golden mosaic paintings, which cover the room walls and ceiling, depict the life of St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth was born a Hungarian princess. She was taken to this castle at the age of four to marry the king. According to legend, she had no interest in living a luxurious lifestyle. She dedicated her life to unprivileged people and built a hospital. Elizabeth passed away at the age of 24. The story about her miracle is still being told to this day. It is known as the miracle of the roses. Saint Elizabeth used to secretly bring out food from the castle to give it to the poor. One day she was asked by the king to show what she was hiding in the basket. The bread miraculously turned into roses and her secret was saved. She has become one of the most beloved saints in Germany today. Wartburg Castle has a special place in German history for over 700 years and continues to be a spiritual home to the German people.